Hi everyone, I've got a guest with me today. This is Katie Shiko, who is CEO of Maths World UK, which is a project to set up a, a maths discovery centre mm -hmm. in the UK. Uh, so what, it's going to be like hands-on maths things yeah. you can do? Like a space where there's things to play with and puzzles. Yeah, a big fun space full of maths. Which I think will be excellent. Um, but we thought we we're going to ask you for your ideas of what could go in. Yeah, you're exactly the kind of people we need to yeah. hear from. If you're interested in James's channel, then you've got the right ideas for us. If you'd like to look at mathsworlduk.com and see a little bit about our mission, be perhaps become a friend of Math World UK. All our contact details are there. If you've seen something cool, mathematical, something, uh, a great puzzle, a great game, or something that could be demonstrated or a video, then get in touch and let us know. We'd love to hear from you and hear your ideas. Uh, yeah, so what you've brought along with us today is some examples of what might be in this Maths Discovery Centre. Uh, so we've, start, we've got a puzzle to start with, which you are quite excited by. It's a spatial reasoning game. It's called the Genius Square by the Happy Puzzle Company. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I've never seen this before, and you showed me this earlier, and it is really cool. So you roll these dice, which determines where you place these pegs mm -hmm. on this grid. And now we have to fill the remaining space with these kind of Tetris pieces here. Yeah. And you were telling me some of the figures for this. You said there were... Six, over 62,000 uh, configurations for the little pegs. Mm -hmm. And then each one of those has at least one solution. Some of them have multiple which, solutions. Which I find amazing that, the, that every possibility that we can get from the pegs has a solution. Um, but you want to erase me. I do want to race you. I mean, how they've set it up so they all have a solution, I don't know, but I imagine it's to do with how the dice are configured so that only certain um, different combinations can appear. Still, the 62,000, they all have a solution. We only need to find one. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Okay, so shall we say uh, three, two, one, go? Yeah, you can say okay, it. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm all gonna right. warn you that I can't talk at the same time all as right. thinking, so you're I gonna be will... the one who's doing all the talking here. I will here. try to talk. So what bothers me is that we don't have a sort of um, a maths discovery center in the UK. So you have things like this in other countries. Uh, so um, I've visited some myself. I've been to um, MoMath in uh, the US and I've been to um, uh, places in Spain mm -hmm. and, and, and Germany has... Oh, look at this! Oh, you swine! I just knew if you distracted me talking, I wouldn't be able to beat you. <laughs> well, that's <just> so interesting. <laughs> I could be here for the rest of the day finishing this off, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So Germany has 13 and, um, you know, we, there's a wonderful MoMath in New York and UK has none. So if you could imagine, like, you know, what it would be like to be in the UK without a single library or a single art gallery, it would be insane. But that's the position the UK is in for maths. There's no dedicated cultural space. Thank goodness I wasn't too far uh, behind I feel, you. I feel bad about that because <laughs> we did do another take of this and you did win on that game. Oh, yeah, best of five, rematch. <laughs> Absolutely. But when I visited these other discovery centres in other countries, I found these kinds of things far more engaging yeah. than things I've seen in museums when it's things on display in a glass box. Yeah. And even science centres when there's a button to press and you go, oh, right, that lights up and then you walk away. Yeah, yeah. So I think we've got some awesome things we can do with maths. You know, we can really engage people's brains and they can do some mathematics in a way where it's kind of um, easy to access the first step. So it's quite easy to get going on this puzzle. Uh, not, not threatening. We want non-threatening, high ceiling games. Um, but we also want to have some of that wow factor getting science discovery centers, you know, if we could have explosions that would be awesome. <laughs> so we want a little bit of the wow and we also want people to actually do some maths. So uh, to show you some, some kind of like pretty things mm -hmm. that we might have in Maths World UK, um, you brought in some yeah. these like uh, bangles. Yeah, so these are toroids. It's uh, knots around a torus. I'll give you one to okay. hold. Yeah, so if you just like let them pop up. <laughs> so you have a um, five knots going one way and two knots going the other direction. And that makes this nice um, 
well it makes it have this nice kind of pop-up um, motion but it also oh. gives it some actual nice movement as well there you go yeah nearly on my shirt nearly hang on i think it can move move nicely on me yeah so we just want people to see some nice mathematical objects it's kind of relaxing as well it's kind of therapeutic it's kind of nice but there is maths in this i don't know maths of not yeah this is like so not theory is a, a big area of mathematics i think it's quite useful for understanding things like dna these are um strings which get all knotted up and need to right. be unknotted and the idea is to have themes in this discovery center yeah it would be zoned by kind of a topic where it might be applied or by the type of maths that's involved so we'd want to look at things like maths of health research so amazing discoveries are made with mathematicians within health research you know finding the structure of viruses and advancing um, cancer research um, and we will have things like maths in space another nice big wow factor subject and lots of tinkering objects because people like us do like doing tinkering and uh, fixing things and working out how things work yeah well I, with the puzzle I, I just want to analyze that puzzle now so if yeah. I saw that in a museum I would want to go away and work out how that worked yeah maybe that's what makes me a mathematician yeah but that's exactly what I want to do so I'm really engaged by that and then you brought in a third thing here which yeah. is a pretty thing to show off which is one of these I don't know some people may have seen these kind of things before kind of like a, a Newton's cradle and what is this yeah so pendulum waves I think a few people have seen videos of it on the internet um, Maths World UK has like a, a big life-size one of these but I've just brought a little one so we could fit it on camera so it's just pendulums all of different lengths and because they're all different lengths they've got different periods so you get these nice um, falling in and out of phases happening a um, little bit like the harmony in music you know some things fall in and out of phase because they're of um, that kind of length so it's about inspiring people uh, inspiring young people general yeah, public it's the general public what we want to do is we want to kind of fix the UK's cultural attitude to maths so not everybody has to be a mathematician but we no. would like people to all have a warm place in their heart yeah. for maths yeah. and generally be positive and encouraging and just know that it really has a big role to play in society you know we we can't afford to have a great big skills gap in maths well so we want to involve people who are naturally maths enthusiastic but we also want to bring in people who previously would have thought I they didn't like maths. We want to change that. Now, where are we at the moment? This is the ultimate aim, to have a space where we can have these kind of things. Where yeah. are we at the moment? So the plan is to uh, raise funds and build mm -hmm. the contents of the museum first as touring exhibitions, going theme by theme. So we are just at the stage where we have raised enough funds to make a problem solving exhibition, which will, once we've built it, tour science discovery centers around the UK. And so hopefully you can all uh, come along and have a go and see if you can uh, do these puzzles faster than James and <laughs> me. <laughs> and uh, where should people go to help? So we want ideas ideas we want people's yeah. suggestions yeah so please do go to maths world uk get the contact details up and get in touch with us you can see how we're developing there you can sign up to our newsletter but if you want to send any of your cool maths ideas or thoughts then just get in touch which i know these people will do awesome uh, so if you have been thanks for watching